Whitney.com. All right, very exciting. Asher Kohner from Brooklyn is our WPT world champion. He has done it. A big upset in the making. He beat quite a field of greats. Let's go talk to him. Hey everybody, we are behind the scenes of the World Poker Tour Championships. As you can see behind me, commentator and host Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten, as well as the president Adam Pliska, are behind me with the winner. He won almost a million dollars. This guy's amazing. We're going to be talking to him soon, behind the scenes, right now, at the Borgata for the World Poker Tour. Talk to us about winning all this money. How does it make you feel? Uh, I don't think I can feel anything right now. Uh, seriously, like, it, it's so beyond anything I ever imagined. Like, I always hoped I would get to this point in poker, but it's beyond anything I, ha I thought would happen right now. It's just, it's, yeah, it's crazy. I'm How old are you? I'm supposed to be here, you know? What do you mean you're not supposed to be here? I uh, am supposed to be in Europe right now, and I accidentally entered the satellite to this tournament okay. when I knew I couldn't play because I was going to be in Europe. Couldn't get a refund when I won the seat, so they forced me to play. And now I'm the WPT world yes. champion. It's, it's it's so crazy. And you're from New York, so do you come to Borgata a lot? All the time, yeah. This is definitely home casino, all the rail and all that. It's because all these guys are regulars here. And yeah, I'm here all the time and from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, yeah. Now, what are you going to do with all this money? Is this real money? Well, this money is worth about three bucks, I think, <laughs> roughly. Um, I don't even know. I mean, I'll, I'll buy something nice for my parents and family. <laughs> That's about 50 cents she's, she's shaking. Um, I'll buy something nice for my, my parents and stuff and uh, definitely play a few bigger poker tournaments. But I really, I, I just want to enjoy life and, and, and just, you know, do good things for people who have done good things for me and, and, and not be some big shot guy. I'm just going to be the same guy. What do you do for a living right now? I'm a professional poker player already. Obviously, you know, I think people will take me more seriously on that now. But I have been for a while and yeah, it's, it's what I do for sure. What was one of your most nervous moments during this whole tournament? The most nervous I've been in this tournament was yesterday with seven people left. I bluffed 70% of my chips to Brock Parker on the river, but he folded. The guy who came in seventh. But when he was thinking about it, and you know, mind you, I didn't pay to get in here, so it had been very relaxed the whole time. But when he was thinking about it, I mean, that's as high as my blood pressure has probably ever been in my life. I mean, I was, oh yeah, it was, it was rough, but uh, it got through, it worked out, and... It was as exhilarating as it was nerve-wracking in the moment, you know? Yeah. And then even right now, I mean, that must have been so, like, thrilling when you just... Yes, it would have been a little different if, say, we were, like, even in chips, where it's like, this is for it. Like, I knew even if he won that, I still had a bunch more chips than him, could still work. But, I mean, that was more of, like, a, an excitement. Like, it was like, wow, this next car could come out, and it just might be over. And it was, and it's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. What advice would you give to a young person that wants to follow in your footsteps? Work as hard as you possibly can. I mean, that, that's, that made the difference for me is the day that I realized that in life, and especially in poker, the people who work the hardest usually get the most back. Um, and yeah, I stopped not taking it seriously and stopped just playing for fun. I really devoted my life to it. And not to sound like, you know, some corny same story, but it's true. I mean, I, I just, I put everything I have into the game about a year ago and I'm here. Yeah, I mean, your family obviously is excited for you, but what did they say when you said you're going to do this professionally? Well, yeah, there, there were some, some weird moments. They weren't totally happy with it, but my dad is, has been a freelance musician for 40 years, grew up when that wasn't a thing. So it's very similar, you know, as poker was 10 years ago, it's how he felt 10 years ago when I first learned about poker, or rather it's how he felt when he was 18 years old. And he was like, I'm going to be a guitarist. And people are like, what the hell are you talking about? So he got it. And I have the best parents in the world, best family in the world. So Good family guy. have been supportive since day one. What's your love life like? I'm single currently. Uh, yeah, I've uh, pretty much. I've probably lost a girl or two to poker. No, you know. I mean, I made the dedication. I made the choice. But yeah, I'm single and you know, ready to mingle. Where can we find more information about you? Uh, I mean, yeah, my Twitter account is at Mr. Ash Money, um, one word, and. I don't know, the WPT website, I guess now, yeah. Well, Asher, we are so excited for you to win this right here at the Borgata Atlantic City. We look forward to seeing you back here in Atlantic City soon. And there you have it, everybody. Now we know he's single and ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> you can find more information about the World Poker Tour at GoToWhitney. I'm Whitney Ullman.